Hello everyone. Payback period is another investment appraisal technique. It helps organizations and businesses to choose from different projects which may be available for investment. The main criteria which Payback uses is how quickly the project would return its original investment and on that basis a project would be selected. So for example, if we invest £50,000 in a project, uh, we will assess how long it takes us to recover all of our £50,000. This technique does not look into return uh, which is offered by the project. There are other investment appraisal techniques, for example, a net present value or accounting rate of return are the methods which look into the return offered by a project. However, payback period only looks at how quickly a project returns its original investment. So that is the biggest problem with payback period because sometimes uh, a project could be more profitable later in in its life uh, however we will only consider the first few years return it it can be very helpful for organizations where there are plenty of projects in line and this is especially true uh, with organizations uh, in IT which develops lo lots of softwares or in pharmaceutical companies as well where they develop medicine and drugs all the time or it could be uh, an organization where there are so many different apps and they have to decide which apps to go for first where should they invest their money first and uh, then how should they select the available projects this is a very simple technique it's very easy to understand uh, and normally the result is required in years and months times so as you can see there is a question on the screen uh, and we will do this uh, simple question um, in in this video to uh, explain how we calculate payback period. So if you look at uh, this question, an investment project has an initial outlay of 70,000. So at time zero, we are going to invest 70,000 pound and net cash flow of 30,000 for each of the next three years. What is the payback period of the project so it seems like the life of the project is three years so we are given different options one year and nine months two years and two months two years and four months and then two years and six months so uh, let's calculate and see how we can answer this question to start with the the uh, t0 and uh, before that actually we need to have a few columns so first of all uh, we'll say cash flows and then the balance which is remaining so balance means the remaining amount which is which, which we still have to recover so at time zero we invest seventy thousand pounds so it's negative it's an outflow and at this point we have to recover the same amount uh, minus 70,000. At T1, after 12 months time, in a year time, we make 30,000 pound as per the question um, as cash inflow. That means after T1, we have to recover 40,000 pounds. Then at T2, we recover another 30,000 pounds, which means now we have to, at the end of year two, we have to recover 10,000 pounds. Now we can see that in T3, we are definitely recovering all of our money because we need to recover 10,000 in year three, but we have recovered 20,000. So our payback period, the time when we have recovered all of our investment is in year three, after year two and before the end of year three. What we need to do is to calculate how many months in year three were needed to recover all of the amount which we invested. So to do that, first of all, what you do is you calculate per month cash flows 
in the final year. Okay, so that's what you need to do. And we know that uh, it was 30,000 for the whole year. And we divide that by 12 because it's 12 months. Let's write it down. Then now we divide it. So 30,000 divided by 12 and we get 2,500. What we need to do, we need to recover 10,000 pounds in year three. And if we recover 2,500 in each month, how many months it takes us to recover. And we could do this by doing this simple maths. So let's write down per month here. And those who are quick in maths, they've already worked it out. So uh, how many months to recover? Ten thousand pounds. So for this, we'll have to do do the simple math. We need to recover ten thousand, and each month we are recovering twenty five hundred. That means it will take us four months. So our payback period is two years and four months. So that's how you answer this. And you can see it's very, very easy. So what they do, they calculate the payback period for all of the projects they have, and they pick the one which has the quickest payback period. So if a project has two years and four months and the other one has two years and five months they would go for uh, two years and four months so our option would be in this question uh, c two years and four months they are slightly different and more complicated versions of um, payback period, uh, which is called discounted payback period. And in that case, you would need uh, cost of capital uh, in the question. And then you'll have to have a discount factor in the middle. discount factor in the middle obviously we don't have a rate right now so let's assume the discount factor is 10% and with 10% we look at uh, the cost of capital at 10% is uh, 0 0.909 0 0.826 and 0 0.751 so I'll apply that over there so at time zero value of one pound is one pound then 0 0.909, then 0 0.826, and then 0 0.751. And now I multiply these values with the discount factor, apply the formula, discount factors, and uh, what we have to do is now we have a balance and balance is uh, next column and these are the present values pvs so now we do the balance thing first year this then we have uh, this plus uh, what we made in second year then in second year we have to recover 42,730 and we recover 24,780 and in third year then we have recovered all of the 17,950 however we need to uh, work out how many months it took us to recover all of that so for that we, we made 22,530 in T3 and we divide it by 12 so it gives us how much we made in each month and from here then we need to recover 
17950 divided by this amount which we are recovering every month and is, this gives us 9.56 months that means 10 months so these are the two ways normally it is just without the discount factor but you can also do with discount factor with a little bit of more work so that's as difficult as a uh, payback period goes uh, it's quite a simple method and i hope this made sense to you guys as well thank you very much for watching this video